Let's find out how our diarists are dealing with the worries we heard about in part one. Uh, the weekend just gone, I caught up with three different groups of friends and we play games online. And that really helped lift my spirits. Not reading too much news, going on dog walks or going running or something. Always doing something so that I don't think and worry about it too much. Uh, I've also been drinking heavily. <laughs> That's been helping me cope. Uh, and that has stopped this week too because things were getting silly. Try not to drink too much, you know. It's a very easy trap to get into. But I'm now getting back into the routine. Of, of, of cooking, uh, eating healthily, eating well. I have been maintaining my exercise routine. It just gets you out of your normal way of current, currently thinking. Afterwards, get dressed, have a shower, get dressed, and actually look, maybe even brush my hair. Um, look like a, a little, proper person. Like a proper person, yeah. like pre-coronavirus days. <laughs> I make sure that I get up every day and I have a shower, wash, brush my teeth, get dressed, makeup. I'll just make sure I'm ready for the day. I am dressed today and it's making me feel much better. Bravo. Bravo, well done me. <laughs> Regular chats with friends, video chats, phone calls. Very nice. I'm really lucky, um, my friends are amazing and all my friends are really sociable, so we're in touch a lot, but yeah, just, I think, pick up the phone to people. Finding little tasks to do that have been put off for ages, little bits of house care. Just done a mural on my on my garage door. Yeah, things, things to keep me occupied. Anything to distract. Some of us are just trying to have more fun. Music is really mentally helping me. It's therapeutic, it makes you think of times gone by. I love to put on some like reggae or ska and have a good dance around. Music is the answer. Dancing. Dancing, I find just brilliant. Just put some music on and dance and just forget. Many of us take comfort in community and spirituality. So I have done quite a bit of volunteering. In trying to support the most vulnerable in the community, so that's how I've been trying to um, get by. But just feeling like I'm helping someone else kind of takes you out of your own head. Yeah, I feel like I've got a purpose and feel like I'm really resourceful and helping and kind of releases those endorphins in the way that kind of exercise does, I guess. Take longer in doing my daily prayers. Easter was quite, quite special, even though that I wasn't able physically to visit the church, I've spent, you know, we spent as a family quite a lot of time online as well, listening to different uh, church services. And that was quite a strong experience. Just having more, a longer conversation with God uh, just keeps me a bit calm because with him, I know I can say whatever I want to say and it's just between me and God. If you're so inclined, then I highly recommend uh, active meditation or inactive meditation, any kind of meditation. Trying to live more in the now um, as cliche does that sound? Be in the here and now, like we talk about it all the time, be present, be still. Be grateful for the things that I do have, because I'm extremely lucky and I know that. We cannot control um, what it's going to be on the other side or even when that's going to be. So we might as well just let go of it. Try and take things a bit more slowly and not give myself such a hard time about everything. <laughs> it's a struggle. You have to give yourself time to rest and recover and just grieve what before looked like. I have food in my cupboards. I have wine and beer. <laughs> I've got good family and friends that are like supporting me and I'm, I've got my health. Remind yourself of what you have. And then also when you're going into a bit of a negative spiral, A, being kind to yourself and admitting to yourself, well, it is okay to feel negative thoughts. They're just thoughts in the way that happy thoughts are or excited thoughts are. It's all thoughts and we're allowed to experience all of the thoughts. That's not a bad thing. Try and find uh, the value in other things. I mean, I think we've all been learning that as we go along. Looking at the beautiful flowers and the beautiful plants, like this one. The most beautiful blossom on our tree that you have ever seen in your whole life. Life. It's amazing. <laughs>
Boom. Boom. <laughs> in general, I do feel like I've coped with it a lot better than what I thought I would and it's quite an interesting experiment in terms of you just realise just how resilient you are. This is an incredible shared journey, both brutal and sometimes beneficial. By sharing our stories, we learn about what we have in common. Stay tuned for more.